Hello and welcome to this MGO2 PC tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest and greatest way to play MGO2 PC. If you downloaded a build before the 22nd of March, then I will detail the time you should start watching in the video description. Please note that prior builds will not work without updating. Let's get into it. So I've left in the description a link to create an account. I've not left the link in this video just because the link is going to change and when it does I'll change the description also for the video. So you're going to want to put in a username, a password, an email and a display name is optional and then create an account. The username and password is what you're going to use to log into the game. Once you've done with the create account process you now want to download these two files which are also in the description of the video, the link to them. You're going to want to right click extract here, right click extract here on each file. Once you've done that you should have an mgl 2 unofficial PC file and a Metal Gear Online file. You should see that they uh, match exactly the, with the RAR file. Now what you're going to want to do is drag Metal Gear Online to mgl 2 unofficial. You should have a um, the, the contents of this folder should look exactly like this. What you want to do is open the emulator through this folder here and select this application. Um, your emulator will look a bit different to this. This is because I'm already pre-configured. You should already have the firmware installed though, but I'm still going to cover that. So you want to click file, install firmware if it's not already installed, but there's no harm in reinstalling. You're going to want to double click this. I'm not going to do that now because I've already done it. Now to boot the game, you're going to go file, um, boot game. Then you're going to want to find the location of which you put the MGO2 unofficial PC folder in. And then find Metal Gear Online, select it once, select folder, and then it will start um, booting this game. Once the game's booted, um, I'd press the stop button and then check your controller settings. So. This isn't going, going to be a controller tutorial, but just a quick explanation. X input can be used with any controller um, via like a third party app. So let's say I'm using the DualSense. I have a, um, a third party app called the um, DS4 Windows, which works with the DualSense, a um, certain version of that application, and then I can use X input. Um, there are all sorts of handlers here. Like I said, this isn't a um, control tutorial if you've got any problems um, then contact us on our discord right so the next thing you want to check um, it should be correct by default but what you want to do is right click change custom firmware and just check that everything here is the same as I have it um, except for TSX instructions if you've got Intel keep it um, keep it how it is or you might want to try force I'm not entirely sure um, but I would test with that one. But everything else keep exactly the same. This, just make sure this is on the maximum here for your um, PC. Okay, now your game is ready to boot and you can now play MGL2 PC. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, that concludes this video.